good afternoon. Mm. This one, second video in the Good Luck series, and today we are looking at Quick Star. Let's tap on Quick Star, and it will show you the ever familiar switch like we had in the last one. First row of things that you'll see is a thing called Panel Settings, and it's a collection of pre made themes that you can choose to apply to the pull down menu. If you were to tap on one of these, it would ask you, what do you want to do with the colorings you choose? If you hit cancel, it won't do anything. If you hit apply, it will then apply it. If you tap on the plus sign, you'll see a my coloring color palette come up. What it wants you to do is pick the primary color for your theme. And with this example, I went ahead and gone went with teal, pardon my grammar, because I like that color. Here's where the real customization happens. You'll notice that the primary color that you chose is applied and kind of given little small variations, but everything is based off of the primary one that you picked. And if there are some fine tuning that you'd like to do, you simply go through there and pick the color that you wish that part to show. And thankfully, what it what I don't remember it showing in the last version of this, it shows in this one. It gives you a live preview of the changes that you are making, how those will look and I don't remember seeing that in the last one. It is very easy to make this look fugly. Like, dang. But you can also, like if it's, knock yourself out. That's the beauty of it. And you can also change, this is background alpha. Apparently that means transparency. I like the transparent ability. Being able to make that a little, little see-through was pretty cool to me. You have a blur amount slider that you can adjust as well as being able to turn the blur effect on or off when you pull down the notification shade. If the if the panel isn't transparent at all, then obviously you're not going to see a whole lot of that blurring, but tapping apply will apply that to your quick panel. Next we have visibility of indicator icons. And <clears throat> this is where you can choose to have them show on the home screen, lock screen, or oh god, that's hideous. Ha! I didn't put a whole lot of thought into that scheme, apparently. God, that's ugly. On the top, you can choose to have these icons shown on the home screen, lock screen, or expanded panel. And then down below, you'll see the long list of different icons. For example, the mobile data signal. If you switch that on, you can see how many bars you have and vice versa. You know how it shows you you have an alarm going and it has a little indicator on the top until you take or turn that alarm off. And that's something I found pretty darn annoying. So being able to go in here and really clean up the top of your phone at the status bar is a nice little addition. However, I do wish that they would have enabled us to put the clock in the middle because symmetry is cool. But they will let you put the clock on the other side where it always was before. So if you are new to Android One UI, excuse me, Samsung One UI, and you don't like how they flip-flopped it, then you can now switch it back. Last menu option is the notification pop-up window. You know how when you get a notification, then you pull down the notification shade, and then you pull it aside just a little bit to give the settings for that particular app or the snooze button, you can now add a open and pop-up window button to that little slide out menu which is pretty darn cool like say if you're in the middle of something and you don't want to keep one of those floating pop-up window icons for messaging up in the upper right corner or wherever you want to put it then you can simply add that little option there and then when you get a notification then you can open it up in a pop-up window and do what you do Here's an example of that slightly transparent and background blurring notification shade. The further down you pull it, the more it darkens what's behind it, and it looks, it looks pretty good. I like it. I didn't keep it, but I liked it. <laughs> I just, I like the solid colors, but that is a matter of preference. So if you like that all, that good old transparency, then that is what it will look like. Stay recent and stay beaming.